G'day viewers, Retro Man here. Elvis is back in the building. You're looking for trouble? You came to the right place. Stay tuned for more. Coming to you from a basement studio somewhere down under. It's the 80s show with Australia's Retro Man. On tonight's show, Retro Man asks the big question. What do you think of Elvis 2022? Well, what are we waiting for? Lights, camera, Retro Man. G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to the 80s show. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Elvis Presley. This ain't no nostalgia show. We're going to do something different. What do you think about Elvis 2022? I mean, some people have had some mixed feelings about this new Baz Luhrmann film. But what I want to know is what do you guys really think about it? I myself have not seen it yet, but I will be checking it out very soon. Some people want to put me in jail. It's a Wells movie. And uh, I can't wait to check out this film. Now, some people have said it's a great film. Others are a little bit on the fence as to uh, really how good is it. Uh, Baz Luhrmann is an acquired taste. He's an Australian filmmaker. He's a little bit cartoonish in style. He's responsible for Strictly Ballroom, which I actually really enjoyed. It was a, uh, a dance film back in the 90s uh, that came kind of after Dirty Dancing and made a bit of a splash with uh, Paul Mercurio, and it had that cartoonish feel, and I didn't mind that Baz Luhrmann film. And also he did uh, Romeo and Juliet, with Leonardo DiCaprio, and of course he did Australia, which was a film about my country, and uh, that starred Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman, and of course now he's done this Elvis film, and this film, as I understand it, was shot entirely in Australia, and when Tom Hanks uh, flew out from the US to shoot this film, uh, production had to shut down as Tom Hanks got COVID. In fact, he was one of the uh, the first big name celebrities to get COVID and of all uh, places he got it in Australia here when he was just warming up to go on set as Colonel Tom. So they stopped production and then uh, they got back into it a number of months later after Tom recovered and uh, things settled down uh, in the COVID landscape. But anyway guys, this film is, I've heard a lot of things, uh, it's a blockbuster and uh, it tells the whirlwind life of Elvis Presley, one of the greatest entertainers and singers of all time. And I will be watching this tonight and I can't wait. I've heard it's just under three hours in length. I've always been a fan of the uh, Kurt Russell film from the late 70s. And of course, This Is Elvis, that one there. You may have seen my video on This Is Elvis. I'm a massive fan of that film. So it'll be interesting to see if this ticks some boxes. So uh, yes, I'm expecting a lot of colour and a lot of splash, a lot of music. And uh, as you know, Baz Luhrmann is going to really ramp up his, uh, his craft. You know, he likes those fast cuts. He likes a lot of music and a lot of colour. And he does those over-the-top cartoonish things. And uh, maybe uh, I wanted a grittier Elvis Presley biopic but I'm sure this will be a flashy one and I won't be able to take my eyes off it. So have you seen this Elvis biopic? Is it really the sum of its parts? Do you think it's flashy over the top or do you think it nails it? What do you think about Colonel Tom Parker, Tom Hanks's performance in this. I've heard some people like it, some people mm, not so much. But overall, I think Austin Butler has really, uh, you know, he's up there when it comes to these biopic performances. People think he makes a great Elvis, and I can't wait to check it out. So tell me what you think about Austin, Tom, and Baz Luhrmann's direction. I want to know, guys, what you think. So please, guys, pop your thoughts and feelings in the comments below and let's get the Elvis discussion happening. And, uh, hey, 
I think people have said that Austin Butler might be up for an Oscar for this. Wow, that makes me want to see his performance even more. I mean, do you think he really looks like Elvis? Some think he does and others think, hmm, maybe not so much. And I've heard, though, nevertheless, he really embodies the spirit of Elvis and uh, some people think he was the perfect vessel to carry that spirit through this biopic film. So anyway, guys, I can't wait to check this out. And uh, I would like to uh, hear from you guys and tell me what you think of Elvis 2022. Boardroom party in town of jail. Are you ready to fly? I'm ready. Ready to fly. Anyway, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Like, comment, and subscribe. And keep watching The 80s Show because we have a lot more coming your way. Anyway, until next time, this is Retro Man living the dream, 80s style. Stay gold. I'm a honka honka burning love, baby. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang and more exciting than Baz Luhrmann's biopic. Well, that's all right, Mama. Please subscribe and good night, viewers.